the things that are your friends. This is a new edition of the IoT Friday and today I'm going to talk about how to connect things to the internet with the help of my Kubachi that helps uh, to live, to have my plants alive. So uh, the internet of things is today uh, a big trendy topic introduced in 1999 by Kevin Ashton and englobes a bigger picture of how to connect anything to the internet. The tools that we have today enables anyone to connect cheap and easy program hardware inside everyday objects. So, as a customer or developer, we can physically interact with sensors and actuators or virtually through our phones or tablets or PCs through the internet, virtually interact with these sensors or actuators. So let's see how to connect these sensors or actuators to the internet. So, today I, I would like to introduce three, mo three different models to connect these sensors and actuators to the internet. The first uh, model is to connect this thing directly to the internet using, for example, a SIM card with GPRS or 3G or 4G or whatever, or radio frequency with a, a radio frequency chip that actually this thing is talking to an antenna somewhere that it's directly connected to the internet. The second model actually is to connect your thing to your router at home or a hub that it's connected to your router that it's connected to the internet. So if you have a Wi Fi chip, six low pan, Zigbee, etc. This can talk directly to the router or as a lot of new connected uh, homes trends that are introducing new hubs connected to your routers are, can make talk your thing directly to this hub and then to your router and then to the internet. The third model is to connect your thing directly with your mobile phone or your tablet using these new trendy protocols like Bluetooth Low Energy or NFC that maybe next week's uh, Apple will give us uh, a new. So if we embed a Bluetooth low energy that it's a quite cheap um, cheap chip in, into our thing so our sensors and actuators can talk to our mobile phones and then connect it to the internet. So that's all for today of how to connect things to the internet and let's hope to see you soon in the next IoT Friday edition. Bye!